In this movie, let's talk about artboards in Adobe Illustrator. I work in Illustrator every day, creating graphics and slide backgrounds for my e-learning projects. And a lot of times, more often than not, I should say, uh, my projects get out of order. My artboards, I'm adding new artboards all the time and they kind of get out of order or I need to add new ones. Um, I'm always working with my artboards and they do get uh, they do get mixed up if you don't put them in the right order. So I thought I'd share some of my tips with you. First of all, I'm going to do the Command N or Control N for the new document menu, just to show you that if you open a file with one artboard, this area is grayed out. But if you add two or more artboards, you will see that now this area becomes available. This is how you can organize your artboards. And if you hover over it for a second, it'll come up with the name. So here's grid by row, grid by column, arrange by row, and arrange by column. You can just decide how you want to do it. I usually use the first one. You can also adjust how many columns you want. So in this case, I might want to add more. Um, I'm starting with two artboards, but I can actually increase this and go higher. And that will allow me to pick a larger number of columns here as well. I can also increase the spacing, which I usually do. If you have something that's uh, tilted off the page, you don't want it to be hitting the artboard next to you, so I tend to put a little extra space in there. So anyway, that's how you start a new document. And I'm just gonna show you here that I have my artboards lined up. I have seven artboards. I told it four columns, so I have four and three. So I'm going to go back to my other file here to show you that when you're working with artboards, you also have an artboard tool. So down here and shift O is the shortcut to get you to the artboard tool. Whichever artboard has the bold line around it, the bold dashed line like you see here, that's the one that's currently selected. You can just simply click on other artboards to work on them if you want to. And you can see the size up here, the width and the height. You can also see the X and Y coordinates and change those as well. You can change orientation from portrait to landscape. You can also create new artboards and whichever one you have selected, that's the size it's going to give you for the new artboard. So if I have this one selected and I choose new, I get a uh, seven and a half by 10. But if I choose this one and oh, actually let me click off that, if I go and choose this artboard and choose new, now I'm getting the smaller size one. So it just depends on whatever you have selected. And you can notice down below in the little flyout menu, you can tell what artboard you're on. So mine are numbered one, two, three, and then it gets a little funky. Then I have 11, 12, 13, and then back down here to four, five, six, and so forth. So I need to rearrange these so that when I'm creating slides, I don't have to worry about the numbers matching up. I want them to be in the correct order. So I can move these other ones to the end, or I can just simply go in and renumber them using my artboard panel. So by the way, I'm going to go up here to Window and bring up my Artboard panel. So as I said, this is a great way for you to go in and reorder things. So you can use your Artboard tool to select an Artboard. It shows up here. So 1, 2, and 3 were okay, but 4 is where things got a little bit awry. So uh, I guess what I need to do is I need to either move these artboards to the end or I can go in and renumber. But I just want to show you if you select one, you can go in here and renumber it. You can rename it. You can actually move them up and down in order using the up and down arrows. So if I wanted to move five ahead of four, I can click to move it up and then I can move it back down again if I want to. I can add new artboards from here if I want to and some other things that you can do over here up under the flyout menu delete any empty artboards and so forth. If you need to resize an artboard to make it bigger, like this one down here, I'm gonna go make sure I have my artboard tool selected. And then I can just simply click and drag on here if I'm just resizing it visually, or I can use my options up here to change the width and height as well. So once I've gotten my artboard bigger, then I can go down here and choose all of this and just recenter it in the middle of my artboard. So that's just a little bit about working with artboards, how you can use the artboard tool, you can use the artboard panel. You do have some options when you're up here on your artboard options. You can choose to, if you're creating or moving, creating a new or moving an artboard, you can decide to move and copy the artwork with it, or if you just want to make a blank artboard from it, you can do that as well. Name things up here if you want to, to make things easier for yourself. Change orientation. 
lots of things that you can do up here with your artboard uh, options. So that's just a little bit about working with artboards here in Adobe Illustrator.